me to tell if I'm cold. If I'm up. Oh, no. I love being on stage because it makes me feel, you know, free. But it is quite exhausting to sing and I scream. It's quite a lot of power in this tiny body uh, for two hours. So I love it when I get home and I can be in the studio. Studio, that's addicting. I learned a lot about how similar people are all over the world and how we need the same things but how we react to the same songs they cry to the same songs but they express their sadness in different volumes you know, someone are quiet about it someone are not and it's very nice to see all the different ways we express things, but the same things. Which makes me understand also how easily we could misunderstand each other compared to what cultures we are from. And even though we mean the same things, but it's spoken in different ways. So it's really exciting. And my dreams become sweet. I kind of thought as about Queendom as my world. And that's why I call it Queendom, because I don't have a penis. So I thought I call it Queendom. And for the artwork, I wanted it to look like I was kind of halfly combined with nature. Because Mother Earth, I feel is a mother, while the sun, I think, is a man who gives, you know, because of the sun, Mother Earth can grow things like a child. And so that's what I thought about the half, half nature, half woman. <laughs> I could never imagine stopping making music. I could imagine to stop touring <laughs> and maybe retire in two years. <gasps> so buy tickets. <laughs> no, I'm gonna make my live my live shows much bigger. Magnifique. No, not this Italian. Magnifique. <laughs> I'll never get tired. I think I will get tired then maybe I'll die the next day. <laughs> Call me Al by Paul Simon. Susan by Leonard Cohen. Susan takes you down to her place near the... Also every song by Edith Piaf.